terrible thumbnail here from wow. TechCrunch. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, a Netflix employee was fired who led the company's trans employee resource group and planned to walk out on October 20th. Can we stop right there? Lewis, how do you feel about trans employee resource group? Trans employee resource group. I mean, they're expanding it now, aren't they? They're just <laughs> expanding every avenue of, of the workplace to fill some sort of diversity quota. I mean, we're seeing that over in the UK. I mean, it's like the US and the UK are trying to outwoke each other. <laughs> so it's quite fun really? to watch. Yeah. A current and former Netflix employee with knowledge of the situation confirmed to TechCrunch. Termination was first reported, blah, blah, by The Verge. Netflix was workers planned the walkout to protest statements that co-CEO Ted Sarandos made about Dave Chappelle's recently released special, The Closer. Company claims that it fired the employee in question because the company suspects that they leaked internal information. We have let go of an employee for sharing confidential, commercially sensitive info outside the company. The representative told Net, uh, TechCrunch, we understand this employee may have been motivated by disappointment and hurt with Netflix, but maintaining a culture and trust of transparency is core to our company. Eric, do we know what um, the CEO said? Uh, from, from my understanding... Now, what I know from before the, the employees got fired or the employee got fired, they, them, Zer, or whatever, got fired. He basically said, um, I don't know, how am I doing on the camera? I don't know. This is a new setup. Fine. So stick with me. Um, he basically setup said number that 16. <laughs> Dave Chappelle is our cash cow and we're not going to get rid of him because you're angry. That Obviously, I'm paraphrasing there, but he's like, look, we've had uh, Sticks and Stones, which was a number one hit. This is a number one hit. And we're not getting rid of him because two guys in a dress are angry about it. And what they don't <laughs> understand about this is, it, and this is not rocket science. I'm not the first person to make this point, but uh, bro, it's the, the Streisand effect. If you guys would have just shut up, it wouldn't have been as big of a deal. You could have been able, able to keep your job and you wouldn't have people laughing at you and making more jokes at your expense because you just get so triggered. I, I mean, they, they, Here it is. <laughs> how do they know it is by now? The buzzword. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Andrew, where are you at? Are you reading the article or what? Yes. Okay. <laughs> no, off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> is our most watched, stickiest, and most award-winning stand-up special to date, he wrote in the memo obtained by Variety. As with our other talent, work hard to support their freedom. Even though this means that there will be always there will always be content on Netflix some people believe is harmful. So that seems pretty reasonable to me. I don't know about you guys. We're standing by our people. We respect their creative freedom. They even had the pedophile movies, and they didn't take that down, right? The French thing about, like, 13-year-old girls joining a sexy dance crew. Nothing wrong here, guys. It's just art, even though we had little girls dancing. So little girls dancing sexually, okay, Dave Chappelle talk, making jokes and saying he's joking the whole time. And then at the end of the special, spoiler alert, he says that it's actually jokes that are spent, supposed to be about white people. Uh, so there's nothing really to be offended by here, is there, Eric? Um, what happened well, to, you know, like support all black creators, which I think is a thing on Amazon or Uber Eats you can buy from black restaurants. Amazon you can buy from black owned businesses. But I guess well, the pyramid is di is different here. Well, it's I mean, come on, we've known that it's fake, right? I think uh, one of my <laughs> one of my favorite uh, YouTubers, uh, Jericho Green, he always would say CBLM, which is certain Black Lives Matter, because of course <laughs> your your right. life. I mean, obviously, we all know that every single life is precious, and all the euphemisms and all the heartwarming stuff, right? That's all true. But it's obvious, and it's been painfully obvious for at least I don't know the past five or six years that, yeah, we like black people until, until they come out, uh, you know, uh, like Kyrie Irving or until they come out like, um, uh, what's the guy? Of course, Herman Cain. When Herman Cain died, they <laughs> celebrated the man like, oh, he's an anti-vaxxer. So we all know it's not new to anybody that, that, that's even paying a tiny bit of attention that it's a, it's a wedge. I mean, of course, they love you until you push back in just the slightest way. I'm, we're not even talking about like, we're not even talking about like, oh, I'm going to vote for Trump or I have a red hat. They're, we're talking about like, mm, maybe that six foot seven person is not actually a woman. J just a thought. It's like, 
if you step out of line just the tiniest bit, then they throw you in the trash and it doesn't even matter anymore. And very surprising, actually, one person that has been able to avoid this, perhaps through money or his, his influence, is Charlemagne the God, the radio host, the radio DJ from New York, who was to towing every single far left-wing line, giving Kamala Harris interviews, giving her second interviews to come back and clean up the interview that she ruined the first time. <laughs> and, then, and then he came out against vaccine mandates, but somehow he doesn't get the, he doesn't get Don Lemon lashing out at him like Don Lemon lashes out at Kyrie Irving. So there's, it, there's bro, the levels to this political the theatrics is through the roof, man. And it is, it's quite a sight to be seen right now.